welcome to my channel. Today is Saturday morning. It's about 8, 10 in the morning. And y'all, it is a great day. I believe the sun is out. And y'all, I was going to go out to the movies today. I want to see Book Club. But I think I am not going to step out until I make the videos I want to make. My craft room is a disaster. I want to clean. And we have to go to my grandson's birthday party tonight. So I'm not sure if that book club movie will make it into my schedule today. Um, but definitely I want to work in my craft room. The last two Saturdays, well two Saturdays ago, my sweet sisters were here visiting. And so I didn't get a lot of time to craft that weekend. Last weekend, my sweet Emma Jade, my granddaughter, she was here. And so um, this weekend, hubby's at work and I am going to work on some crafting. So I am thinking about putting smaller versions of the rainbow yarn rainbows that are made out of rope. And I want to make a bigger one. I think I want to make one to put in my craft space. And so I thought before I start cutting things up, I would show you the supplies I'm going to use. I think I figured out how I'm going to make these. Um, so we'll see how it turns out and all that. So things that you're going to need, you're going to need a couple of different yarns. I have some different yarns here. I might add in um, some blues or I thought about maybe adding, taking out the green and adding in, but I don't use green much. And I thought that this green that I got at Michael's, which by the way, I got most of my yarn, these yarns at Michael's and I got them all for free because I had a coupon and it gave me the money off and so forth. So yay, check your Michael's. Um, right now it's buy one, get one half off. And so I think the largest one I've got here was like $4.99 to get the other one for half off. So anyway, so um, what you're going to need is yarn. You're going to need a rope. I am going to attempt to make one out of this thicker rope. And this is a 4.5 milliliter, millimeter. And hopefully that makes sense. And it's fit. This one is 15 feet. I hope I don't need 15 feet, but you know, I'm hoping I can make a couple of these out of this. We'll see how it goes. You're also going to need some kind of floral wire to keep the shape of your rainbow. You're going to need um, like some tape and you're going to need um, a glue gun rather than getting it all heated up. Um, probably some scissors and uh, things like that you're going to need and so forth. So let's just get going and we're going to work on the project the process. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I kind of switch my colors. Um, I had these already here in my craft space. I think I took out, I went ahead and took out the yellow and the green because I, the more I think about it, I really want it to kind of match my craft room. And I have like pink and white and lighter pink. And I have a little bit of kind of an aqua like, but this is as close as I can come to it. So I think I'm going to go with these colors. Okay, so I have taken uh, out my rope and I think I'm gonna have to do, I think I'll do five rows. So I might have to pull out a nut, one more color um, out of my stash. So I have different colors, but I have what I did and let me show you what I've done. So I took, this is the end of my rope and I'm using this mat right here because number one, I don't wanna get hot glue and stuff all over my pink mat. Um, so I'm using this mat and I've just decided how how high I want to make my rainbow. So I think I'll do it kind of like this. And so what you need to do is you need to just take your rope and kind of you're going, what you're doing is measuring how long you're going to need each piece of your rope. Okay. And this is a very nice soft rope. And I'm going to try to do um, maybe on Saturdays um, when I have extra time and I'm not working. Um, try to do different kind of job, um, crafts, not just paper crafting. I really want to get back into my sewing and so forth. So I'm going to really, really work to make time for, for these crafts that I want to do. Because um, life is so busy, y'all. Okay, so I've got four. And I'm going to go, and I think this will be my last one. So you kind of, what you want to do is you want to figure out how long your rope is, needs to be and where you're going to cut it. Okay. So I think that's going to look good if I do it like this. Okay. So I've got the shape that I want. 
So this is where um, this painter's tape come in or any kind of tape that you'd like to use. Okay, so I wanna make sure that my, that my rope is at a good level. And actually I think, I think that that will look good. So that kind of tells me where I need to go and cut my rope. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut it below my tape. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some tape to this other piece that I just cut because I don't want to start unraveling on me. So I'm gonna save my supplies and just add a piece of tape on there so it'll stay in place. Okay, so we'll save that one for another one. Okay, so now that I've got this, what I'm gonna do is make sure I have mine nicely in a nice even way. And I'm going to cut each one of my, the ends of my rope and I'm going to tape each one of them off. If it's not totally even, um, just in, in the end you can trim it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and I'm gonna add my tape. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I did. I've already cut this side and I've cut these, but how I kind of kept my shape is I just put my hand here on the edge brought down the edge of my rope and I went ahead and just cut and that's how I did that. So hopefully that is a helpful hip tip for you. Um, yeah, it worked for me just fine. So I think that it's gonna be a great helpful tip. So I'm gonna finish taping off the bottoms. That's super important because you wanna be able to ravel this out to make the clouds at the bottom but you don't want to have it rattle off too soon. You want to do that in the end. That's like your final step. Hope everybody's having a good weekend or whenever you're watching this. I hope that you're enjoying your time. Okay, so there we go. We got our rainbow started. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide which one I want to put on the outside. And I think I'm going to go with this one on the outside and kind of work my way in with my different colors, okay? Okay, so I thought before I start the wrapping, I wanted to show you one thing I'm gonna do. So I've got the shape of my rainbow, okay? So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that I um, wrap my yarn, and the idea is to wrap your yarn around each of your rope pieces and stop at a certain place, okay? And so forth, and so I wanna make sure that before I do that, that I'm gonna mark where I'm gonna stop on each one, okay? So I'm just gonna make a line with my pen going across, just kinda, that way then I know that's where I'm gonna need to stop, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side, and I'm going to, I'll go, I'm gonna go up a little bit, but then I can maneuver it and make it kinda Make sure I got the shape and make sure they're even. And then I'm gonna, that way I'll have a guide. Okay, well, there we go. So now I know where those pen marks are, I'm gonna quit wrapping. Um, and actually before I start adding my yarn, and I'm gonna start with this one first, you on each piece you need to add, um, a piece of floral wire and it's going to help your rainbow to keep its shape. So now that I know and now that I know um, where to stop and start, I'm just going to pick up the first one. And actually, let me see if I can get that. And that way I know which way I can work. I'm going to just kind of take my floral wire and this one that I'm using is a 58 millimeter millimeter I think it is I don't really know a lot about floral wire but I got it at Michael's so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna measure out my wire and I'm just going to measure it I'm gonna lift this one up I'm just going to measure it for where I made that mark. And I think you could even probably wrap this around if you want. Let's see, what, let's see how this turns out. Let's see what, There's my mark right there. When I get to my mark, then I know where to cut it. 
Let me grab my wire cutters. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other pieces. Let's see if I can get this these to cut. Oh, it did cut for me. I didn't even know it. Well, hello. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is take my wire and just kind of wrap it, kind of wrap it around just so it stays on my rope. I'm hoping that works. And I'm gonna try to keep the others in line. I want them to be good over there. Get this glue out of the way. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do mine like this. And then I'm gonna start by wrapping my yarn around around my rope and my wire. Okay. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so I have finished four of my pieces. I kind of wish maybe I would have not went with this lighter pink here, but it's all good. I'm just going to go with it. This is my first one. I think it's still pretty. Um, but I went, what I did instead of adding the pinks in a row, I added the blue and then I went back to pink. And since I have an extra one, I think I'm going to go ahead and do some yellow. Um, I think that that will look pretty too. So I'm going to go ahead and I kind of learned before when I was wrapping the other ones, if my tape's hanging off the end, just make sure I have it down. Okay. So I'm going to move these kind of out of the way. Got my rope. And then I'm going to take my wire, kind of roll myself a piece off. And I kind of went up above the line I had made. Here's the line I made. So I went up a little higher because I want, um, because I want to make sure I have enough hanging down to make it look like there's clouds. So I'm just going to start it off by wrapping my wire around here. I'm just going to kind of use my wire cutters here to kind of press that down. There we go. And then I'm going to just kind of measure off how much I need. And I've been wrapping mine kind of gently around my rope, just kind of like this. And I think I'll cut it about right there. So let's go ahead and we'll cut this. Okay. Move that out of the way. And then I'm just going to kind of kind of keep this one wrapped around. I did take a piece of tape and put it around where the wire is so it would stay because I noticed toward when I was wrapping toward the end that it would kind of start coming out until I had it totally covered. So I'll be honest, this was this is not a five-minute project. I mean I could have probably did it a little faster than I did, um, but I'm sitting here just watching a movie on my iPad on Netflix while I did this. So anyway, okay, so here we go. I'm going to start and stop about right there. You just want to make sure it's kind of even with what you've already got in there. So I'm going to go ahead, and what I did is I just tie myself a little knot and this is just how I start it. It could be the right or wrong way, but it worked for me. I'm going to tie that off. And I'm just going to tie a knot. I think that when I make another one of these, which I will do, I might buy some thicker yarn instead of the thin yarn. Okay, so got a little bit of that right there. I'm going to cut off. And the way to kind of get rid of these tails, what I found doing is just wrapping it around and adding some hot glue and have it attach or wrapped over there like that. And then if you have a little more like I've got here, just dabble some hot glue. And there we go. So now we're gonna wrap. I'm gonna start by trying to wrap in this yarn. I don't know about this yarn. It is a little thinner and I've gotta get it from being twisted. So bear with me a minute. And I'm just gonna throw it on the floor because that's easier for me. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna start and try wrapping it, just going all the way around, trying to not, trying to, you can overlap a little, but just try to keep them next to each other. And just wrap and wrap, and you, you may say, oh, it's not looking straight because you have to bend it. That's okay, in the end, we will bend it and shape it, and that's what we do. So you're gonna just keep going until you get to the end and then you're going to tie it off and hot, I hot glued mine down and it's that simple. I've been looking at these on my Pinterest for a long while. I have the supplies and um, yep, it's time to make it. So I'm going to keep wrapping as you see, see how I'm wrapping, see that? I'm gonna keep wrapping till I get to the other end. Yeah, so that now you probably understand why I was sitting here watching my iPad, just watching a movie on Netflix and just doing this. This could be a great project for you to do, like if you're sitting watching TV with your family and you wanna make some of these, you can sit there and watch TV and just wrap your, wrap your yarn. So I'm gonna finish, and when I get to the other end, I'll come back. Okay, so now that I've got to the end, what I do is I'm gonna take it and kind of put my finger up in there, and I'm gonna kind of tie it off a little bit. I'm gonna pull that tight, just so it's tied on. And I'm gonna do it again. Just tie it off and that way then it will kind of hold that yarn in place and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring back my glue and I'm gonna add my hot glue right there so I can kind of get the glue down see there's that glue That way I can hold it in place. Sorry if I got out of frame. And then I'm gonna tie it off one more time and then cut. Okay, there, that's what I do. May not look the most pretty at the bottom, but it's okay, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna pull it as tight as I can, cut. And then I'll hot glue this last little tail down. So y'all, this project, no dies, no machines. Just probably supplies you have in your closet. It'd be great decor. These would be great pieces at a craft fair. But I'm gonna come back and make a video because I think I might do keychains. So I'll definitely um, come back and show you that I need to order some keychain, the hardware. Okay, there we go. Get that down. So now I've got all my pieces wrapped. This is gonna go up inside here. So now I'll have my rainbow. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you can do. I've looked at a lot of pictures and different things that you can do. You can decorate these if you want. Um, if you want to, you can go ahead and add a hanger on here. That would probably be a good idea before you glue this all together because this is going to be hot glued together okay and so it would probably be good to go ahead and put if you want to use some maybe extra yarn or something like that if you want to make that so I'm gonna make I want to make sure that my wire is nice and not looking wonky that's the reason we put this because we needed to give a give our robe a good shape okay I'm gonna move away too, and I'm gonna start these and kind of get them glued together. 
So what you're going to do, and this is my first one, y'all, so keep in mind, this is my first one. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with my glue and I'm gonna put it on the side and I'm gonna put these two together like this and press them together really well. Okay, I gotta grab a glue stick. So let me grab a glue stick or two because this is gonna take me a lot of glue. So now that you know that you got that together, just keep going up in here, adding your glue. And just add it up inside so you don't have all this glue hanging out. You want to keep it looking nice. Okay, and I'm adding my glue and then kind of pinching it closed. Okay, just like this. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer. If you see any glue come up, just take your take your scissors or something or if you have something you like to use if you don't want to get glue on your scissors I, do, I don't mind it's cleanable and then when you get over here I'm gonna finish up let me add that glue stick now I think it's about that time okay Pressing that together and down to the end. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of them. There we go. I'm going to hold this together. Got a little glue seepage right there. I'm going to pull that. Some people, I think, say sew them together. I think this is probably a little easier, but it's preference, whatever you want to do. Okay, there we go. We got our first one. So I like that. That looks good. Now I'm going to bring in my next layer of my rainbow, and I'm going to start and do the same thing. I'm going to glue that together. So I'm going to glue all the rest together, and I'll be back. Okay, so I am on my last row and I've just started but what I did is I went and I took a piece of yarn and just tied tied it around and kind of made it blend in and I'm leaving a tail and that way then if I want to use it to make a small hanger or something I can um, in the future I might find myself a different way to do this but I wanted to have that there already before I glue that way in case I want to hang this up or something Okay, so I'm going to go and start. Now, I've been trying to put these even. The blue one kind of goes down a little bit farther. Um, I can take some of that blue off and so forth. So that's no big deal. So I think I'm going to start right here. Last row, I'm going to add my glue. This part's the easy part, I'm finding. And I just kind of take it, kind of press that, press that in there. And if I see a little extra glue, I just use edge of my scissors. Peels right off. Get that off there. And I'm just going to keep gluing. And I'm going to keep making my way around. Press it together. Can you imagine if you did like, you had like eight or nine, it'd be just gorgeous. And that could be something I do in the future. Adding some more, some more rows. Pressing together. Make sure you keep that, keep them all kind of flat too. And I've got to get to this edge. Y'all, can you believe summer is coming? It has been for us in North Texas. It has been a very, um, it's been a very rainy season. Rainy. Um, last night, if you're in the North Texas area, like in Allen, I, my husband told me the news said that there was some pretty good size hail over there, 
Um, we, where I live, east of the Metroplex, we, did, we just had bad rain. We didn't have any hail, thankfully. So... But anyway, I pray for anybody. Hopefully nobody's houses got damaged or nobody was hurt. That's the most important thing. Okay, adding this all the way down. And this is why I'm using another mat underneath because I don't want to ruin my pink mat. So this is so cute. I can't wait to do more colors. I want to add in more colors. And this really it looks coral, but it's really just a heavier pink. Okay, so I didn't glue all the way down here because as you see, these kind of go kind of farther than where the pink is. So um, I think I'm going to take off just a little bit if I can. If I can't, then I will. But I think I'm going to try to see if I can take a little bit of this yarn off on here. And I know I had hot glued it. Let me grab my X-Acto knife. I had hot glued it down, but I want my yarns to be semi-even. So I'm going to try to cut some of it off and this glue it back down. before I take off all the tape. Okay, get that scissors now that I got that going a little bit. And I'm just gonna go up just a little bit. I'm not gonna go too far. And I have to trim off some of my wire. I can do that too. There it goes. Thank you, Dad. Okay, so I got most of it off. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so now I'm going to take off the blue painter's tape. Get each one of these pieces off. If you've taped it around pretty good like I have, you can use something to cut it if you need to. Let's see which way I need to go here. There we go. So you want to make sure you don't pull this off to the end because, you know, the rope will unravel and you don't want it to come apart on you. And don't worry if you see any things that need to be shaped. You can do that again in the end. Okay. This one. going last two and they're not even but we're going to cut them I'm going to go ahead. This one right here, I'm just going to cut. Okay, so now we've got our tape off, and it looks like this. So what you need to do is you're going to take, you're going to take the ends, and you're going to un untwist them. Just unravel them. And you can pull all these apart. I know this is not a new project, but new in my craft room. So I hope that there is someone out there that 
has enjoyed this process and maybe wants to give this simple, easy project a try. It's not time, it is a little bit, takes a little bit more time, but it's something that you can do with probably supplies you already have in your craft room. Only thing I really needed was, I mean, I had yarn. I bought different yarn because I had a coupon, but the rope, I just picked up the kind of rope and I do have some other kind of cording and stuff like this. Probably will work. I might use those for like keychains. We'll see how that works. Definitely will come and do a video on that. Okay, almost there. Love, love it when it's all being unraveled like this. Okay. So see how that ends up. I'm going to trim it in the end once I'm done undoing this side. And if you want to take a comb to it and kind of make it even more fluffy, you can do that. So I'll be back. So now I've got them pretty much unraveled mostly and um, so now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them off evenly. So I'm going to see if I can use my scissors and just cut these off So and just give it a little haircut. If you have a rotary cutter you can do that too. I'm just going to try to see if I can try to get those even. Let me do this side. See, this one's a little bit longer, so I'm going to try to. Okay. Like that. And now I think I'll add a little embellishment. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is since I don't have my yarn totally straight here, I think I'm going to add a flower here and it will kind of cover up my imperfection. This one is more straight on this side. So I think I'm going to add this and I think it'd be kind of cute to add another flower. These are just Prima flowers. I'm going to add another one here. And then I have some little heart jimmies I think would be cute just to add just, just that over there. So let's start with this one. I think that that will work. Embellish these any way you want. And I think this is what will work for me. So I'm going to add my flower. I'm going to stick my next glue stick in there. And I'm going to add this one right here. So it's a little, of course, a little bit smaller. So I'm going to kind of add it where it kind of tucks up under. So I'm going to add glue. In here. There we go. Look. I like that. I thought about putting a third. I think that's too much. I think I'll add just this heart kind of sticking out. That way it just gives it decoration on one side. And I'm thinking I'm really liking this. So you can do a, de a decoration on one side or both, whatever you prefer fluff all this up and y'all that is my sweet yarn rainbow how cute is this i love this what a fun little project be fun to keep going adding more colors um and i just love it because you know what the rainbow is god's promise and we can't ever forget that that's the rainbow is god's promise to us that he'll never flood the earth and um, he's kept his promise all these years. 
So that's why I just love rainbows so much because it's God's promise to us. And um, yep, it's just beautiful. Anyway, I hope you guys like this. I hope you will give this a try. Pull out your pull out your yarn and your rope out of your closet and just go to town. Make yourself some fun little fun little uh, rainbow. And I think I'm gonna do some smaller ones like keychain size, so they're gonna be real small. But I'm glad I gave this a try, and I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm going to use this right here. I'll tie it off and cut off what I don't need. I'm just going to leave that for now. If you want to add a little bow up here, you could do that as well. Just whatever you prefer to do. Um, but anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.